right. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Woohoo! All right. As you see it in the title, we're bringing back Bandmade. Band this one was a suggestion that was on our, I think it was on the community page when I asked for some uh, suggestions. And thank you guys so much for being so receptive on the suggestions. Uh, I put one out on Wednesday, and I think there's only already 20 comments on there. You and guys it keeps are growing. Incredible. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the for all of the, the suggestions. Uh, we love bandmade. So when someone brought up this bandmade uh, combo of a live performance at Lollapalooza 2023, we just had to chomp at the chance. Yeah, we had to chomp at the bit. Yeah, uh, we have you heard, have we heard Dice yet? I don't I think mean, we've done Dice. I don't think we have. So um, I've heard the song, but I haven't heard this live version, and I haven't heard Hate. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, so, we're about to find out. So both, we're doing Dice and Hate at Lollapalooza. 2023 we'll put the link of the video in the description this is on uh doco doc loco page so it's a fan channel fan channel of some kind it's no secret anymore the maids were on fire at Lollapalooza 2023 especially when they played dice and directly went into hate with its incredible bass and guitar oh. duel Ooh, we're in some oh my god what else we got but the audio level and dynamics were a bit on the weak side. The mix was great, though, so I tried to optimize it a little. Okay, so maybe you remastered the audio, which is good. That helps out. You don't have to turn it up as loud and stuff. So Yeah. All right, cool. Let's check out some of these comments. They're quite a bit, even for like a off-brand off channel. Yeah, yeah offshoot fan channel. Can confirm, after seeing them in Portland roughly two weeks after this, where they also played three songs, or sorry, these songs during their set, this is the best live rock band I've ever seen. Nice. Bandmate has always been at a different level. They're always upping their game, continuously working out how they can improve their OKUG and their stringing dice into hate, comma, question mark. And after inserting Misa slash Konami bass guitar duel into a pure high energy genius. When repeated later in the tour, Miko and Saki were horsing around with Akane during the duel. They know how to have fun and let the audience know they're in on the joke. <laughs> nice. It sounds like that's going to be really fun. Somehow I've ended up watching this every day, sometimes multiple times since it happened a month ago. I can't get enough of this performance. And when they brought the same energy through the rest of the tour, I know the rest of the world wants to see this band too. But still, I hope they come back uh, sometime soon to the U.S. So they were just here. So I maybe they just left? I think so. Yeah, there's no... Oh, this isn't the official page. Right? This Lollapalooza for them will go down as Van Halen's Us Festival in 83... Jimi Hendrix, Woodstock, and Nirvana's MTV Unplugged. This set was lightning in a bottle and kicked open industry doors we don't even know about yet. It will also be one of those war stories gigs that fans will gloat about being at, as they should. Nice job. <laughs> All right. All right, I think we're ready to jump into this one. Without further ado. Yeah, that sounds really fun. I can't wait to watch this. Yeah. It's a little longer, but that's because it's two songs. Yep. Two songs for the price of one. For anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. Uh, this is not our first rodeo when it comes to bandmate. Oh, absolutely not. We've been at this now for a hot minute. Yes. So uh, we have a playlist for bandmate, our reactions exclusively. If you go to our channel, click on playlist, you will find a bandmate reactions playlist. This one will be added to that as well. So make sure if you haven't checked out our prior videos, go look at those. They're plenty fun and we have a good time watching them. It is a journey. We never have a bad time with bandmate. Absolutely. So... Don't expect anything less from here. Let's have a good time. You know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you at home who are not new to the channel, you, you know, know what, what time, time it is. is. It's time for the glorious, epic transition. <laughs> now we can get started. There we are. Fan made. Tyson hate? Question at, mark? At Lollapalooza 2023 with optimized audio. Optimized. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this how it starts. That fuck that that beat. Boom. That those drums were oh my God. booming. That bass too. Okay. 
sarcastic. With <laughs> a big old smile. You hear the crowd going, Whoa, yeah, yeah, oh, I love it. I'm loving this. So we've we've checked out some of the DVD live versions of this, and I, I do suspect that um, just like all the DVD performances we hear and see, that that was professionally you know, mastered and mixed post-production. So we're hearing uh, live recorded audio, so the vocals um, are not uh, where we would expect them like on their live but it still sounds good, but you can hear a lot more of Miko's vocal now. Mm -hmm. um, and so that sounds a little strange to me because I think usually she's tucked down a little bit. And right now she's pretty loud in the mix. So when they're both singing, like, I hear her more than I hear Saki, uh, which is interesting. Um, bass sounds perfect. Yes, Guitar the, sounds I, great. Love the, I love her tone. Her, her tone, tone is like probably the best sounding thing on this recording so far. I mean, the drums sound good, but they still sound distant. It still, it still sounds like they made a little bit, use yeah. one mic or something. And the guitar is not as present in the mix that I can tell, but it still sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's, def it's definitely there. Yeah. But I'm, I'm loving that jazz tone. Oh, God, I love those basses. <laughs> They're not showing her, but it almost sounds when they're doing the background vocals that Konami is also joining in. You can yeah. see that she's near the microphone and it looks like she's singing, but they're not showing her singing. Because when they when they're both singing, like when they both pop into the background vocal, it almost overpowers the low, low and I think it's because two of them are singing. Yeah. They're both doubling each other. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, because she's right there in the microphone. Here we go, here we go. Turn the guitar up a little bit, come on. Bass. Yes. The thing about having a bass heavy mix is that you really get to hear the bass because yeah. you don't really hear all the licks. That, it, let's 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 be honest. This is a very bass heavy mix. I mean, you don't. The guitar should be a little louder. I think. So I'm not. Yeah. I mean, from I mean, yeah. from a from a 
Aud- from an audible standpoint, I, yeah. I agree. You know, yeah. for the sake of audio balance, right? You know, the you know, guitars are way too tucked down. Yeah, the guitars are a little bit too tucked down. The bass yeah. is just a little. I mean, as a bass guitarist, yeah, you know, on it's principle, nice to hear. Yes, it's nice to hear. But as a bass guitarist, on principle, I got no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but I do. I do agree. You know, the guitars yeah. could stand to be a little bit more prominent. The bass right. could be tucked in just a touch more. Right. I mean, even on their DVD DVD style recordings or in their 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 typical um you know studio tracks for their music videos right you know the bass still is prominent oh very much so yeah but just to just to add in like a bit of a live balance you know right but at the same time I'm sure you know the you know for the way he optimized the audio yeah I'm sure there was only so much that he could do oh of course yeah I would not blame anybody here just how it is Beast. Oh my god, I can't I just, oh, she's uh, just pounding away. They all like I, I need a breath. And a con is just like nope. And a con is like, nope, we're not stopping. No. Oh man, she sounds good by herself. Even if the, the, the drums seem fine kind of far away, like it almost roomed with like a like a room mic or something. You can still still tell like you can still tell that sound. A, you can still tell that a con is beating the shit out of those drums. Oh my god. Is the bass going too? I think she is playing too. kick fill oh my god that was awesome yeah Yeah. 
damn, well, her hands are moving so fast. When they show her and she's flying through those toms, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they really should have had a camera on the base. Yeah, that's, it's really dis, it's unfortunate. That is disappointing that they yeah. did not have a camera I, I on the base agree. during I'm that solo. That. I mean, they I'm, they I'm, haven't I'm shown not, her in like ten minutes, almost. right? I mean, it's not been ten minutes. It's a long video, but <laughs> it's been it's, it's been at least a minute since we've seen Misa. What, yes. What the hell is going on? Give Misa some love. Whoever yeah. whoever was in charge. She's of playing the... by herself, for God's sake, get a camera on her. I mean, for the most part, like it's drumming. There's drums going. And there we go. <laughs> well, I can't tell if she's playing by herself because the mix is so not is so unbalanced. So you see her strumming doing like bar chords, and I can vaguely hear that. Damn, look at all those fills though. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. All the double bass going on. There, there she is. She's got her bass face going. <laughs> nice! That was great. All right, let's flip back over. All right. What a long one there, but that was uh, both Love and Hate, or excuse me, Dice, Dice and, and hate. hate at Lollapalooza 2023 with Optimize Altio from Bandmade. Yes, Bandmade. We loved it. Yes. It was great. I Now, it's unfortunate the mix wasn't as good as it, because I've didn't. i never heard Hate, and I kind of think we need to go and do a reaction to Hate now. Yeah. Like, because it's a good song. It's a good-sounding song from what we heard, but, like, oh, it's, like, guitars and all the harmonies and stuff. I mean, yeah, I've heard like, some of the soloing, but for the most part, I just didn't get a, a good vibe on that song. I just, I've... I, I think, mean, going off, of, going off of the bass, you know, I'm intrigued and... Yeah, you know, intrigued enough to do a reaction to, just like to like hate. a like a like a DVD quality live video or a music video for right. It. So if you guys know like a good hate, um, alternative hate that we can check out that uh, gives us the full flavor of the song, 
I would love to hear it because this it does sound like a good song. Uh, I just don't feel like we got the full vibes from it on this particular recording, which, you know, it's live. That happens. It happens. But uh, Dice came out great. And then, of course, the interplay between the two, uh, all the bass playing, obviously, we got to hear a lot of the yes. good bass playing. Misa's tone, that's what a jazz bass should sh- should sound like. Absolutely. In my opinion, that yeah. is what a jazz bass should sound like. And she's playing all the right things, doing all the right thing, like playing all the right notes. And then they're going between the two. Um, between Konami and Misa on guitar, or yeah. Misa on bass, Konami on guitar. I love that the interplay against those two, where they would play, she'd wait, rest and wait for her to play a part, and then she would play a part, and each part complemented each other. It wasn't like trying to outdo each other or anything else. It was something similar in the vein of, so it was complimenting. It's yeah. like adding to their phrases. And rather than battling between them, I felt like it was more like, I'm starting this, I'm ending this, I'm starting this, you're ending this. And it's going back and forth. The melody kept you know, building on top of it. So I think that was a nice way to do kind of a duel or a duet or something. I don't know what you would call that, a trade-off maybe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we love that. I love Bandmade. Can't get enough of them. So let us know if you want, whatever, whatever you want to see from Bandmade next. Uh, we're open to some suggestions, uh, more live if you can get it. Another hate, uh, I'll leave our live performance or the studio version. We'd like to hear the song. Uh, in more of its entirety and a little bit more Absolutely. up in the face so we could hear the guitars and everything and the how and you know how the vocals and everything were supposed to be mixed. So yeah. still great, still love them. Uh, I'm I see in the comments a lot of you have gone to Bandmade and love them live. So Lucky. Yeah, yeah. Lucky dogs. Tell us about your story, you know, let us know what it was like. Where'd you go? Where'd you see him? What was your favorite song? You know, all and that take stuff. us with you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we are Offset Era. Two-thirds of Offset Era. We just put out an album about four months ago called A New Era. Six brand new songs, all original, very fun to play live. And available to stream anywhere you stream your music. Courtesy of iTunes, Google Music, Spotify, Bandcamp, YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, we shot a music video for the first single from A New Era, Watch It Burn. Yeah, it was showing up at the end of this video, so if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check that out. And we also have two new live videos floating around our channel of unreleased songs, one called Move On, a faster, heavier song, and uh, Fading, a groovier song. So those are cool. Check those out. They sound good. We're all live shot in the studio, professionally yep. produced. Sounds great. And a lot of fun to play live. Right. And speaking of playing live, we have fi- it's been a hot minute since we've been on stage, but this dry spell of the summer has finally come to an end. Yes. Saturday, September 23rd, we're going to be at Nice Guys in Cape Coral, Florida, where we're based in. Yes. With Discord Theory, Gutter Love, Take Lead, and Perfect Sequence. Yeah. So if you're in the area, come on out. We do have some shows in the works for both what October and December still on the books. Have With we... uh, November still open yep, for so availability. We're still working on it, but you guys will see more of those details as they emerge. And, of course, we'll talk about them here on the channel. That's right. uh, but that's it that's it thank you so much for tuning into the our reaction we really appreciate all of the support the love the comments let us know you what you want to see in the next one and we'll see you there stay awesome see ya